Hi, it's Katrina. Thanks to modern technology, scientists can see over 13 billion light years into space. But from strange clouds to unidentified objects, there are still many unanswered questions about our galaxy. Here are eight mysterious objects from space. Number 8. Oumuamua In October 2017, astronomers were startled to find something strange in the solar system. Dr. Robert Warrick noticed a strange oblong object whizzing through the sky while using the University of Hawaii's Pan-STARRS-1 telescope, which is used for discovering and observing near-Earth objects. Based on the object's inclination and speed, scientists knew it wasn't part of our solar system. It was moving too fast to be gravitationally bound by the sun and was already traveling back into the depths of space when it was discovered. It was a visitor from some unknown place. Researchers concluded that the thin oblong object was ejected from another solar system and into ours before slingshotting back towards wherever it came from. Named Oumuamua, a Hawaiian word meaning the scout, it was the shape of a cigar and nothing like anything else in our solar system. They classified it as a comet despite its appearance more closely resembling an asteroid and set out to answer their next question, what catapulted Oumuamua into our solar system in the first place? The prevailing hypothesis is that the gravitational effects of a population of gas giants in a still-forming solar system propelled it across the galaxy. Scientists are unsure how long it shot through space before it arrived in our solar system, most likely during the Victorian era. Oumuamua was the first known interstellar object to enter our solar system, but it probably wasn't the first. Technology advanced enough for spotting small, fast-moving, and dim objects has only existed for a few decades, which isn't very long. In an article for Space.com, astrophysicist Paul Sutter of the University of Ohio wrote that ejections from solar systems are common, or scientists got astronomically lucky in seeing it. Which do you think it is? Let me know in the comments below. Number 7. Red Rectangle Nebula the inconspicuously named star HD 44179 is 2,300 light years away from Earth. It's a binary star, which is when two stars orbit around each other and is part of the constellation Monoceros the Unicorn. It's also surrounded by a bizarre geometric red nebula. Up close, the structure looks even stranger, like a giant X surrounded by glowing parallel lines of gas. Astronomer Robert Grant Aiken discovered the star in 1915, but scientists didn't notice anything out of the ordinary about it until 1973. The more we learn about it, the stranger it is. In recent years, we've figured out it's even weirder thanks to ever-improving technology. The red rectangle is a protoplanetary nebula, a very old star that is transitioning into a planetary nebula. This phase of stellar evolution only lasts between 100 and a few thousand years, which is short in universe terms. The star's unusual red emission is called extended red emission, or EAR. Scientists have struggled to fully understand the phenomenon since discovering it in 1975. They believe it's caused by complex carbon-rich molecules called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, or PAHs. Pause. The ultraviolet light that makes PAHs glow should theoretically also kill them, but it doesn't. The dust surrounding the stars may shield the strongest UV rays, allowing the pause to remain intact. Scientists are still learning about ear, which has been observed in other stars. Number 6. Planet 9 There may be a ninth planet deep in our solar system, which scientists call Planet 9, or Planet X. Researchers from the California Institute of Technology, or Caltech, found mathematical evidence that a planet the size of Neptune and with a mass 10 times that of Earth orbits the Sun in an elongated path that takes it past Pluto. If Planet X exists, it may take between 10,000 and 20,000 years to complete one full orbit, traveling up to 20 times farther away from the Sun than Neptune at times. For now, Planet 9's existence is merely theoretical. The possibility is based on the unique orbits of some of the objects in the Kuiper Belt, which is a region of icy debris that extends far beyond Neptune's orbit. Planet 9's gravity would potentially explain the unusual orbit of the Kuiper Belt objects. Astronomers who believe Planet 9 is out there continue to look for it. They believe that it can be seen using existing telescopes, although it would be very faint and difficult to detect. What do you think? Is there an undiscovered planet lurking at the far reaches of our solar system? Number 5. Tabby Star Star KIC 8462852 
better known as Tabby Star, is located 1,500 light-years from Earth in the constellation Cygnus. The star is named after Tabitha Boyajian, the lead author of a 2015 study showing that it sometimes dips in brightness by up to 22 percent, a huge drop in comparison to the less than 1 percent average. It gradually fades over decades with seemingly random brightening events occasionally occurring. No similar stars are known to do this. Tabby Star also has no infrared emissions, unlike all other known stars with dramatic fluctuations in brightness. The scientific community was initially stumped by the phenomena of Tabby Star. They eventually attributed the short-term dips in brightness to dust blocking the star's light, causing bluer light to scatter away while allowing red to pass through. The longer-term dimming was associated with larger dust grains. All this data suggests that a cloud of dust containing different sized grains blocks varying amounts of light over time. Scientists haven't figured out where the dust is coming from, however, and they believe it's somehow being replenished given its persistent presence. Number 4. Elst Pizarro Comets and asteroids are two very different things. Comets are balls of ice and debris that are usually found beyond Pluto inside the Kuiper Belt or another collection of objects called the Oort Cloud. They move in highly elliptical orbits and occasionally pass close enough to the Sun to lose ice, which gradually destroys them. Asteroids, on the other hand, are rocks left over from the birth of our solar system. Asteroid number 7968, or Elst Pizarro, lives in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. It was inconsequential to scientists until it passed its perihelion, or point closest to the Sun, in 1966. Astronomers Eric Elst and Guido Pizarro captured images showing that the asteroid has a tail. When the asteroid made its next perihelion passage in 2001, the tail once again materialized. Asteroids don't have tails, comets do, and scientists were baffled. The first explanation for Else Pizarro's tail was that it had clashed with another asteroid, resulting in a trail of debris. But the tail has changed in brightness and structure over time, further confusing researchers. Else Pizarro spins once every three and a half hours while shedding fine dust particles the size of cigarette ashes. It's clearly losing mass and should technically be classified as a comet, but the mystery doesn't end at the object's label. Scientists aren't sure what it's made out of or why the material is coming loose. One hypothesis suggests that Else Pizarro is a comet that got yanked into its current position by Jupiter, where it lives mostly among asteroids and that it's not very active. Another theory holds that it's an asteroid that collided with something, causing ice from deep within to form a cometary tail whenever it passes the sun. What do you think it is? Number 3. G-Objects In 2018, scientists discovered strange puffy masses that look like gas clouds but behave like stars near the supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way. Researchers believe they are G-Objects, but they're not even entirely sure what G-Objects are. The first G-object was observed near the Milky Way's black hole in 2004, and the second one was seen in 2012. Three were spotted last year. Scientists theorize that G-objects are bloated stars that are so large they remain intact near the black hole, which pulls matter from their atmospheres. Their massive size may be the result of the black hole's pull, causing two stars to collide and form the G-object. This is a plausible explanation. UCLA professor Mark Morris explained that in the aftermath of such a merger, the resulting single object would be puffed up or distended for a rather long period of time, perhaps a million years, before it settles down and appears like a normal-sized star. Researchers have a lot to learn about G-objects, including how they got where they are and what will come of them. Number 2. Bubbles In the early 1980s, Farhad Youssef Zadeh discovered a spindly structure giving off radio emissions in the center of the Milky Way. He thought it was a glitch and erased it from his data, but more of the filament-like structures appeared. Since then, scientists have detected over 100 of the cosmic structures, clustered near the black hole at the heart of our galaxy. Recently, the highly sensitive Meerkat radio telescope in South Africa detected two massive radio-emitting bubbles extending outward from the Milky Way's black hole. They stretch into space in the opposite direction and are each shaped like half of an hourglass. The filaments Yusef Zadeh discovered are contained inside. Astronomers illuminated the bubbles and their contents by capturing a specific type of fast-moving radio emission that illuminates nearby cosmic structures and is typically found in turbulent regions of space. 
From top to bottom, the bubbles measure 1,400 light years. The recent findings suggest that the filaments emerged as part of a larger structure. It's likely the bubbles resulted from some sort of catastrophic event that occurred millions of years ago. Perhaps a collection of dying stars gave off immense energy as they exploded, or the black hole experienced a flare-up, as they're known to sometimes do. Or maybe it consumed nearby material too fast and regurgitated it. Yes, scientists believe the black hole may have eaten too fast and not kept it down. Regardless of what caused the ancient explosion, it inflated the bubbles and accelerated the electrons within, resulting in radio emissions. Number 1. Holes An unknown object is punching holes in the Milky Way. Scientists don't know what it is and haven't observed them using telescopes, but they know they're there and what they're doing. Earlier this year at the American Physical Society Conference in Denver, researcher Anna Bonaca from the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics presented evidence she discovered of the hole-punching object's existence in the form of a series of holes in our galaxy's longest stellar stream, GD1. Stellar streams are typically long lines of stars with just one gap throughout, but GD1 has a second gap, and that gap has a ragged edge, as if a foreign object tore through it. Whatever caused the hole is unimaginably huge, far too big to be a star. Bonaka also ruled out the possibility of a black hole because scientists would have probably identified it by now. There are no objects flying away from the hole to indicate having possibly caused it. While the object could be something luminous that is no longer anywhere near the point of impact, all signs point toward it being made of dark matter. Researchers don't know much about dark matter, and the possibility of finding it is exciting. Bonaka's discovery is so new that none of its kind have been published in academic journals, but her presentation was well received by the prestigious audience. Thanks for watching! There's a lot in space we still don't know about! Which mysterious object did you find the most intriguing? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't already! See you soon! Bye!